You look great. You look great. Good outfit. Great outfit. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Carly, and this is Morgan Hill. Hi. And today is another edition of Online Dating. We're not exactly going to go on a date. Look at this. What is this? A rat tail? <laughs> it's like Taylor Hansen circa 1997. Oh my god. Okay, here's a question I have for you. Okay. How do you communicate to a guy that like, maybe you want to make love instead of having sex? And can you use the words make, make love? love? I would say something like, let's just slow it down a little bit. Oh, that's a good one. I have to burp. I want to talk about faking orgasms right now. If somebody like pinches your arm really hard. You don't have a choice but to say, ow! Right. Right? But if I like pinch your arm and it's like hurting a little bit, but it's not to the point of pain, you can still be like, ouch, 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 ouch. It's still right. hurting, uh -huh. but you're not urged, urged to say, ouch. I hate to use a metaphor for sex that has to do with pain, but I just did and it's on the internet it's good. permanently. It's good. I'm still enjoying it, but like... I'm adding more oomph to right, it. Right, right. Women do that anyway in yeah. conversation, like when you're listening. Like if Morgan were to speak to me right now, I'd be like, uh-huh, yeah. Cool. Uh -huh. Like women do that anyway to make, make the other person know that they're listening to them. It's the same thing in bed. Like I'm not faking an orgasm. I'm just communicating to you that this is nice and also I'm in love with you. And don't tell anyone we had sex, but I'm gonna tell everybody. <laughs> Come on, my dad watches this vlog. Okay. What date would you allow the guy to pay for it all? Well, I definitely would let them pay for the first date, but I'll always yeah. pay for the pregnancy test. I'm gonna let the guy pay for the first date because I feel like they want to. Listen, I'm a busy girl. This is not about a free meal. Like if I'm going out with you, I want to. Yeah. I think okay. I've only asked a guy out once and he said oh no a few months ago i had a crush on this guy and i think that he had a crush on me and he ended up coming to this place i was at he left a party to come to a bar i was at he left a party that's great he came to the bar i was at and then we left and went to another bar so i'm like okay i'm safe to tell him i have a crush on him right that when you left the bar it was just the two of you yeah I like told him that I had a crush on him. I told him that my plan was to ask him out tonight, and he seemed like very shocked. And we like talked about it, and then he shocked like flattered, shocked, shocked like oh I had no idea. And I was like really you're oh. at this bar it's 3:30 in the morning you had no idea. So he ended up asking me out on a date, and we like made plans, and we like closed down the bar. So it's like 4:30 again in the cab. Mm -hmm. At like 11, I get a Facebook message saying, "Listen, I know I asked you out last night, but like." I take it back. Are you kidding? <laughs> no. Morgan and I are good dry humpers, We're guys. Great dry humpers. We shouldn't have to beg for this on the internet. Oh, we shouldn't. Subscribe. <laughs>